everybody welcome back to the channel i know i know i know but i promise in a few months you guys are going to understand why why i've been missing <laughs> yes a lot going on you guys are going to enjoy it you guys are going to like it it's just it's, it's a lot it's for you it's for me it's going to be great so bear with me but yes welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here and thank you for all of the comments the questions the concerns i'm good I've been doing things for the channel. I've been doing things for the snap box, for the flat box, and just content in general. So I really appreciate you guys reaching out, trying to check on me, see if I'm okay. And bless you all for the support of the flat box. I mean, wow. If I had shelves, if I had them stacked on shelves like grocery stores, they I would have to say they're flying off the shelves. But they're flying off my table here on my workspace. So thank you guys so much for supporting the flat box and over a dozen snot boxes sold already and it launched um, although it launched a couple months ago with covid it stopped some things had to wait on some of the product to arrive but once it arrived the snot boxes have been out of here so thank you guys so much for that as well comments questions dms emails texts have been coming in like crazy about phlebotomy and the three most um ask questions or video requests are additives that are in the tubes order of draw um with the mnemonic that i came up with someone was like be ready what else what's the rest so we're going to do that and then the most common tubes that are used in phlebotomy so we're going to touch one of those today and um maybe later today and this is going to be a busy week for us so make sure your notification bell is turned on because yes i have content going up every day this week um maybe pop in and do a class but whatever the case may be may be <laughs> please just make sure your notification bell is turned on i know sometimes it doesn't work but just turn it on turn it off tweak it you know just tweak it there are um options that you can set it on so make sure your option is set correctly um and uh yeah just do that and if you're here for the first time please go ahead and subscribe you're here for a reason you landed here for a reason so just hit the subscribe button you will not be disappointed you're probably here for snot you could be here for phlebotomy whatever it is you're here at the right time so click the subscribe button so that you can be a part of this family growing family and um stay in the loop with snot and phlebotomy and thank you to all of my new subscribers even though i haven't been here all last week um i'm you guys still sign up you guys still subscribe you you buy the flip box you've been buying the snot box and you're following me on ig i see new people all the time the flip box ig gets love it's not box you know it's it's growing it's still in its fetal stages i'm not expecting you guys um to do all of that but i don't want to ramble but i did want to put that out there and just say thank you jumping right into this video i want to talk about the most common tubes and test so i always call them the basics so let's say the basics when you get your basics down in phlebotomy everything else falls into place i promise you you just have to stick with the basics and the mnemonic that i came came up with is for the basics but this is for the basics and then we'll have another video about the order of draw mnemonic and that sort of thing but i'm going to show you the basic tubes and i have flood boxes all made up i'm going to find the, one of the basic boxes which is your 20 dollars box um i have some of these have mailing labels on top. This is a $40 box. So there are different boxes. I, I'm sure you guys know that by now. You've got your 20, your 25, your 40, and your 50. Um, at some point this year, I am going to discontinue some of the boxes uh, just because I've done you know, my homework to see what's selling, what's not, and that sort of thing. So make sure you get what you want now before you know we don't want you surprised when you go to order a 40 dollars box and it's no, no longer available but i'm not sure which one yet and then i may change my mind i do that quite a bit so your box basically comes like this and this one is like i said already packed packaged and this is what it looks like and just for those of you who are concerned or want to know but we'll do that later as well but this is the 20 dollar flip box and it has a um common tubes in it and i'm going to tell you the test the most common 
test for these tubes. So I always say your basics. We always get back to basics and it's five basic common tubes that are used in phlebotomy across the board. These are your five basic tubes. Your red, your blue, your gold, your lavender, and your green. Okay. And I'm going to tell you what goes, not what goes in these tubes, but what the department of the lab they go to. Now the test, um, I know you want the test. I may say one test and that's, I'm going to say one test and we're just going to leave it at that. But you will learn um, by watching the videos and just if you're already in the field, you're going to learn how easy it is to become familiar with what test goes in these tubes. So for the most part, the lavender top, you're going to see the lavender. You're going to draw a lavender top on every one. I can almost promise you that. Your lavender top. And the most common test that goes into the, well, that's run from a lavender top is a CBC. And we know that to be a complete blood count. So that's what we're going to say with your lavender. So your lavender is one of your common tubes. And there are five basic tubes, lavender being one of them for CBC. The blue top tube is also very common. You will not draw this on every one you will more than likely collect this on patients that are on blood thinner a blood thinner regimen of some sort and it's for coagulation oops did i say this was for hematology my bad lavender top cbc and it goes to hematology yes most common tube one of the most common tubes common test but it goes to hematology and your blue top tube is like I was saying, for patients that are on blood thinning regimens, um, taking a blood thinner, and it is a blue top tube. It's for coagulation. The most common test is a PT, INR, PTT. So there's a PT with an INR in it. PT already has the INR, and then the PTT. So it's a PT, PTT, okay? And that's your prothrombin time test. And that goes to coagulation, coag for short. Your next tube is your green top tube. Now the green top tube goes to chemistry and your most common test that you're gonna run on, run from this tube is a comprehensive metabolic profile or a comprehensive, not a comprehensive, or the basic chemistry profile. So you have a chemistry profile that is comprehensive and then you have a basic one so one has more and one has more to it than the other of course comprehensive basic but it's chemistry I don't want to get too technical because we're going to do that in our other videos and if you watch my previous videos you know what I'm saying but I don't want to say too much because I want this to move along smoothly um, just the common tubes with the common test chemistries a CP cop and a CP basic and of course it goes to chemistry and that's your green top tube is for chemistries then you have a gold top tube your gold top tube is for serology your gold top tube is going to be spun and there's gel in the bottom there's gel in the bottom of your green it's it's a it, we spin it too but for serology mostly um, for immunology your gold top tube can be used for those areas of the lab as well as chemistries now we will talk about that also because I don't want you guys to get confused because most of you, if you, when you go to your doctor's office, like a clinic setting, they're going to draw a gold top tube or a speckled tube. It's your serum separator tube. Both of those tubes are serum separator tubes and they're used for chemistries, mostly in clinics. So, and we'll talk about why in a while, but this tube can go to chemistry and go to special chemistry. It can also go to serology and immunology as well as your red top tube. And these two tubes can be used for so many different things, but we're gonna put this in um, serology and immunology and chemistry right now because a lot of people still use their gold top tubes. A lot of places, gold top tubes are for chemistry. Some places you'll go or you end up working and you'll just use green top tubes. It's not wrong, it's just the way it's set up and we're gonna talk about that as well. And then your red top tube, yes, uh, what's collected in the gold top? I'm oh, sorry. Um, a lot of immunology 
when you think of the immune system so an hiv test can be running here i'm quite sure at some point COVID's going to be running here they're probably using the red tops right now um syphilis which is rpr hepatitis anything pertaining to the immune system because they need the serum from the blood in order to do that so anytime you see your serum separator tube think of it like that then you have your red top tube. Your red top tube is almost across the board as well. It's mostly for immunology, serology as well. A couple send out tests because what they're doing is they're spinning this tube down as well to get the plasma from it. And it can be used in those areas and it can be used, not can be used, but it's used for whole blood mostly. And a PSA is a big one, a test. It's a prostate um, uh, test and your drug levels are running this tube as well because it's whole blood there are no additives in this tube and that's what is needed so i know that was cumbersome and just all over the place but y'all know i've been gone a long time so give me um give me thumbs up <laughs> let me know how i did coming back from my hiatus but quick recap yes the green cp comp cp basic goes to chemistry blue pt INR, PTT, goes to COAG. Your lavender top, most common test is a CBC and it goes to hematology. Your gold top can be used for chemistry as well as serology. So it can go to serology as well as special chemistry and chemistry. And then our red top tube can go to immunology as well, referrals, chemistry, uh, yes. So don't get too caught up, but just know that these are your five basic tubes and those are your five common most common tests for these tubes just think of your red whole blood we don't want anything in it so we're checking drug levels you don't want anything to mix with that right right so that's how you want to think of this one and then everything else pretty much just kind of falls into place right get it comment down below thumbs up share let me know what you think let me know what you want to go over next i am going to be going over the uh, flood boxes because I have gotten inquiries about it as well. Seems like people still don't understand it. Uh, a few people, I guess those are our new subscribers, our new family members. So I will be doing a video about that also. But do check out the Instagram link for Flatbox. It's Flatbox. Hashtag Flatbox at Flatbox. And then of course my IG is at Christastic. So follow me there. I have tons of stories that I've put up. And just to keep you guys in the loop, you know what's going on. When I do take a hiatus, you guys will know where I am or in what's you know what's transpiring so yes thank you guys so much for being here i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and don't be surprised if i have one of the same stuff all right because i'm working today that's what we're doing <laughs> love you guys thank you guys for being here i'll see you guys later